In this video, we're going to use Ampere's law to calculate the magnetic field in a different situation, a solenoid. Now, a solenoid is a closely wound loop of wire, wire wound around in a helix a spiral structure with current flowing through it. So the current maybe come in going around this way, and each time it goes round in that direction, until eventually it comes out at the other end. Now, what's the magnetic field in here? You can do this using the Biosafar law, it's quite complicated, but using Ampere's law, it's much simpler. So, as always, step one the drawing. Try and work out roughly what's going on. So, let's do a cross section through this. So, we've got all the wires at the top and all the wires at the bottom. The wires at the top, the current's coming out of the screen, and the wires at the bottom, the current's going into the screen. Now, using the right-hand rule, we find that the magnetic field from the wire at the top looks something like this. From the bottom, because it's going into the screen, it's going to look something like that. So when you're inside the solenoid, the magnetic field from both sides add up together. So you're going to get a very strong field going along like this. When you're on the outside, the field from one side is going one way, whereas the field from the other side is going the other way, so they will partially cancel out, so your field is very weak. In fact, what happens is the field lines curve around and come back off the end of the solenoid. But that does mean the fields are very weak on the outside compared to the very strong ones through the middle. So that's the first step. We've got some idea what the magnetic fields actually look like. What we're going to do is analyse what's happening in the middle of the solenoid, or any place that's a long way away from the edges. You know, the edges of field lines are starting to curve out, and it gets really complicated. There's no way you can avoid using something like Biosavar out there. But in the middle, we can do it using Ampere's law. So then we get to step two. Pick our line. Ampere's law is a line integral, so we need to pick a line along which it's going to be fairly easy to calculate the magnetic fields and the length elements. So let's pick a line that's a long way away from the ends of the solenoid, and one that goes into the solenoid, along inside the solenoid, straight out, and then back. And we'll call it a rectangle of length R. So then we get to step three. Do the line integral. So the line integral is the sum over that surface of the magnetic field vectors dot the line elements dl, and that's going to be equal to mu naught times the sum of the currents inside. So how much current is inside here? Well, it's going to be equal to each individual wire contributes I. How many wires are there? Well, if we know there are n wires in the total solenoid, and the total solenoid has length L, so that's L here, then multiply by R, that will tell us how many wires are actually going through this particular rectangle. OK. Now, what's this integral? Well, it's made of four parts, the magnetic along the bottom, up here, along the top, and down. Now, as our loop is in the middle here, the magnetic field doesn't extend vertically, so there's no component vertically. It's all strong and to the right inside and very weak and to the left on the outside. In fact, the field on the outside is so weak we can ignore it. So there's actually not really any integral along there, so, so we can forget about it. So all we're really concerned about is the field along the bottom. So that's just going to be equal to the magnetic field, mod B, times the length element, which is R. So rearranging, we find that the strength of the magnetic field, B, the modulus of it inside, is equal to, well, the R's cancel out. So it's just going to be equal to mu naught I N over L where n is the total number of loops in the whole solenoid, and l is the length of the whole solenoid. So n over l is the number of loops per unit length. 
fairly easy. And you can see some interesting things. You can see this doesn't depend on where inside the solenoid this bottom bit is. You could go near the top, or near the centre, or down near the bottom, or anywhere you like, and you get the same answer. So what that's telling us is the magnetic field inside is actually very uniform.